This week's show is brought to you by lynda.com slash kipk. If most of your friends are like you, they've got a bunch of remotes, and this prank will work with every single one of them. To pull off a haunted remote prank, you're going to need just a few items. Any flavor of Arduino board, preferably one your cat likes. One universal IR receiver, you can find this on kipk.com. And a small buzzer. You'll also need a 9-volt battery clip and a small enclosure to put everything in. Only four pins will be used on the Arduino board. Three, six, five volts, and ground. I'm using some small headers that I'll solder the wires to, and then those will be plugged into the Arduino board. I want to make this portable, so for power, I found an old jack with the end cut off. So I soldered that to the two wires on the 9-volt battery clip. I also found the perfect housing. This is a 9-volt housing. It's got a little slot for a 9-volt battery and also a front little panel that we're going to be using for the IR receiver. I've got everything wired up, and you can find the schematic for this on kipk.com, as well as the code that I uploaded to the Arduino for this prank. I placed all the components inside the enclosure and fed the power connector through the enclosure and plugged it into the Arduino board. Then I drilled a small hole in that front little panel. That's where our IR receiver is going to peek out. So using some hot glue, I mounted the IR receiver to that hole. Then I added our power source, a 9-volt battery, and closed everything up. Our haunted remote prank box is ready to test out. My fans ask me all the time what kind of camera I use or what software I use for editing. Well, I use a few different cameras depending on what I'm shooting. For software, I've edited for a long time on Adobe Premiere. Premiere is powerful, but the manuals just don't cut it. So I use lynda.com to learn cool tips and tricks and brand new skills to save time when I edit. Stay tuned for a free offer from lynda.com just for my fans. lynda.com has over 100,000 great, high-quality, easy-to-follow video tutorials in all kinds of categories, from video editing, 3D animation, even creating a YouTube channel. From beginner to advanced, with new courses added weekly, lynda.com has it all. A plan started only $25 a month, but for my fans, I've worked out a special deal with lynda.com to provide you with a free 7-day trial. Just visit lynda.com slash kipk to start your free 7-day trial today. Thanks for supporting my show. And now, let's put the haunted remote prank to work. You'll want to find any place where a remote is used. This spot's got four or five different components with different remotes. Then it's just a matter of hiding your haunted remote prank box. Try to hide it so no one would really see it. Now, as soon as anyone uses any remote, our prank box is going to put out this sound. And being inside that enclosure, it's muffled just enough that it's hard to tell what it is or where it's coming from. And that annoying sound will trigger any time any button on any remote is pressed in that direction. And that's how to make the haunted remote prank. I hope you liked this project, and if you did, go to my channel by clicking the box on the left. And for more pranks, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.